Hi, welcome back to my channel, Refining Amy. This is my week 29 update, so stay tuned if you want to hear my news. Hi, I'm Amy. I'm 45, I'm 5 foot 1, and on March 19, 2019, I had VSG surgery in Vegas with Blossom Bariatrics. Dr. Tom Ambach was my surgeon. So my stats, here I am. Today is Wednesday, but I had my report for yesterday. I did get up and weigh in. I weighed in at 191.7. That is a loss for the week of 1.8. It is a loss in surgery of 74.7 pounds. And it is a total loss of 100.6 pounds. So I have officially lost 100 pounds. I wanted to bring you guys a big update and everything. I wanted to even say, okay, I would have done it yesterday, but um, I had to leave work early, just not feeling it. I was like, oh gosh, I can't do it. I can't even tell you guys how things are going. Um, I was um, needing to be still, not moving, and resting. I came home from work and went right to bed. I didn't eat, I didn't do anything. I literally slept from the time I got home. Um, it did afford it me so I could go to work today um, but I noticed like I have some super dry lips so not being able to drink it hindered me and especially considering I vomited at work so there you have it so I have a touch of a tummy bug not great but you know I will manage um, what's going on with that Looky. driving me crazy there we go Flippy. It makes noise. Oh well. Okay, so my big news is I'm at 100 pounds loss. That does mean that I do get to <clears throat> have my um, tattoo. So about my tattoo, these are the pictures, all right, um, that I'm going to give my artist. Um, I have to go with them tomorrow, set up my appointment, yada yada. Um, and then upon my approval, so when I go back in, if I don't approve, then he'll have to tweak it and whatever. Um, and we'll work all that out. But honestly, I don't think there's going to be a problem. I've seen this guy's other or artwork. And so I'm very excited about what he will do for me. So honestly, it's going to go from, well, it'll be about that big on my arm. So like from here to here and you know it's going to be the daffodil with the hummingbird so um a little bit about why a hummingbird um a hummingbird to me and you know i'm not so much i know there's a lot of symbolic nature to animals and everything in the spirit world and all that that's not what this is i looked up the symbolic nature of a hummingbird um, because not because I thought okay my ancestors are coming to bring me a message or whatever it was literally because I wanted to think about the symbolic nature of what it could remind me of what life life lessons that I could think of when I saw something on me permanently forever and so that's why I chose this all right it was not because I thought okay this is my spirit animal and I want it to come talk to me that's not what this is about. Um, think about a hummingbird. Think about them. Think about their ability. They fly backwards. They're able to hover in place. They're able to do all these wonderful things and they almost seem mythical and magical. Um, so here's what it, when I was researching a hummingbird, um, they literally are there, it's, the symbolic nature is to lighten up um, enjoy the simple pleasures in life. And I'm all about that. You know, my husband wanted to know what we were going to do for our anniversary and we didn't do anything big, but we got to spend the evening together without kids. And, um, you know, I wanted a hamburger. I ate it bunless, but you know, I was like, I want a hamburger. And He's thinking, okay, well, you're a cheap date. <laughs> and we went, um, went walking down the river and got to watch the sunset. 
you know, just the simple pleasures. All right. Um, seek the good in life. Be positive. Find the good part about your day. This is one thing that we and try to instill me and my husband and the kids, you know, when we talk to them, okay, yes, something might have happened. Tell me about it. But now let's find something good to look at for your day. So you're not thinking and harping on what something is negative. And so, so seek out the good in life. Be positive. Um, I already said that they are tenacious. I think I did. Maybe I didn't. They're tenacious. They go after it. They want, they want to keep after it until they get what they need. And so they're able to hover in place. They're adaptable to their environment. Um, and, but they, it's with the happiness, you know, um, they remind you to find the magic in life. And, um, so here's the big takeaway for it. They're the reminder that happiness lies within. I find my happiness, my peace from within. No one can supply with me with that. Um, I have to be able to get that from within and I'm actually learning that this is my thing that I needed to learn about my journey that I've been through so far. You know, um, we get so focused on that end result, that goal that we need to appreciate the journey. Um, because that's where we learn the lessons. Um, it's not the end result. If we don't go through the process, we don't do it. It's kind of like when you, you see a kid or you even see, you know, a teenager or a young adult. And if something's given to them, they don't work as hard to keep it or have it as nice or whatever. It's when they start earning it on their own that they appreciate it more. Well, it's the same thing with this journey. I'm earning it. I'm earning every pound loss. So I appreciate it. Um, We need to remember that we're free to enjoy the sweet side of life. So whether it's simple pleasures or whether it's, you know, um, taking that extra moment to, you know, play with your kid, go for a walk, enjoy a sunset, you know, those type of things. Um, and here's my thing, work hard, and play hard with a healthy, happy, cheerful heart. So that's it. That's why I chose the actual hummingbird. And as for the daffodil, the daffodil was chosen because it is the flower for the month of March. I had surgery in March. And the really cool thing about that is the symbolic um, meaning behind a daffodil is actually new beginnings. And I definitely have my new beginning in March. So there you have it. Those are the reasons why. Um, I um, didn't bring you my goals. Um, I honestly, um, I didn't tell you about those last week. I will tell you, I didn't really hear them all. <laughs> but I'm gonna try to do better. My big goal is water vitamins. I did find out and I need to go back to that. Um, I've got to bring my poop scoop update. I told you guys I was going to try out like um, a potty thing. What are those things called? The potty where you put your feet, whatever. And um, I just used a stool because I was like, that's ridiculous. All it is is a stool. Um, it's kind of working, but it's in correlation with, I also realized when I had gone off my medication for my blood work, I started pooping more. And I thought, hmm. And then I did some research and found out that the calcium chews that you have cause a great amount of constipation. And you take three a day. Okay, so I was like, ooh. Well, I had also bought some patches, um, just like, okay, what happens if I'm sick and I can't take something and I really wanna make sure I have my calcium and my multivitamin because, hey, bones and, you know, don't wanna mess with those. 
So I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy those patches. And then I decided to take those and I'm still, it's not a great amount, but you know, I'm really not eating a whole lot either. You know, if you think in concern, in, in, in conjunction and you know, thinking of, about the correlation between what you put in must come out. And um, I know I'm not pooping as much as I should, but I'm still pooping. Um, if it's not every day, it's at least every other day. And I'm, I'm not having to take a stimulant laxative, um, which is good. Um, I do feel a little dehydrated because I was sick yesterday and I just got behind on my water. Um, I'm just trying to make up for that and that's all I can do. <clears throat> um, I have not gotten my um, Apple Watch. I'm gonna tell you guys, I am a cheap A. And I keep wanting, and I'm, I don't even want the newest one. I'm just waiting for them to put the old one on sale. And I'm thinking we might get that around Black Friday. And I've lived this far without it. I can live a little bit longer. Okay, so my big news was 100 pounds lost, yay! All right. Um, not so great. Haven't felt good. Boo. Haven't got a waffle maker. Boo. Um, I'm hanging in there though, right? I'm remembering to persevere. I'm remembering to be my own totem. <laughs> Although I don't believe in totems. I'm just using this as a symbol, symbolic nature of the hummingbird to remind me of where I've been, where I'm going, and to keep after my goals. So with a happy heart. All right. I can't think of anything else to share with you guys. So I'm going to take that as a wrap. I hope everyone has a wonderful evening. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment or send me a private message. I appreciate all of your love, your support, and any um, and all, you know, ideas. I appreciate all of you. All right, take care. Have a great night. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm 45. I'm 5 foot 1. <laughs> I had to think about that for a second. Update. So stay tuned. It's just... Cannot talk. <sighs> Oh God, I can't think, it's so bright. The big news this week was 100 pounds lost, finally.